Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Maidan Racecourse here on Thursday. It's the 23rd of January, 2020. I'm going to look at all the races on tonight's program from Maidan. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And join me this Saturday for my Pegasus World Cup preview video. Excellent card there from Gulfstream. So check that out. And also, while I'm here promoting, check out my Oakland opening day preview video that should be up very soon also excellent uh, card from Oakland with the uh, Smarty Jones stakes um, but um, great uh, night for the carnival from Maidan we're gonna look at all six races so let's get on to it the first race from Maidan it's the P and O Marina's handicap it's a handicap going for a purse of hundred thirty five thousand dollars race for three-year-olds and upwards we have 16 horses going one lap around the turf course which is 2400 meters in circumference or a mile and a half on that turf course the top selection will take the seven horse court poet will go seven three five in the tri cash trifecta seven three five tri cash trifecta top selection seven horse court poet four-year-old gun by Dubowie here William Buick gets leg up for Godolphin and Charlie Appleby the horse hasn't been seen since the 23rd of May that came at Leon Patty and one of their Derby trials, a mile and a half in the list of stakes there. And the horse that afternoon finished six by three lengths there and something the, the UK runners were great at the last few years still are uh, is going over to France to scoop up these listed stakes these group three races but that afternoon at Leon Patty the, the horse just did not fire at all didn't stay the the, the uh, trip you know was with them early on but then just hit the wall completely something must have went amiss there he must have been injured he's coming back here off the break lesser quantum horses I think will be fit enough to win I'm going to expect him to run a good race. Before that, he ran the Group 3 Prix de Chanis at Longchamp on the 9th of September 2018, one mile there. And he finished fourth by three legs behind Anador. He's a decent horse, and, sh and uh, Shaman, who finished third, decent horse. This horse stopped early on, but then he just couldn't quicken up. The, the three in front of him just ran that better race. And then before that, he ran at Chelmsford, September the 1st, 2018, one mile novice. He won by three quarters in length there, and he stalked. He got the lead, and then he just took off clear. He could have probably won by more, but um, William Buick rode the horse that day. He didn't want to kill the poor thing. It was an all-around good race. I'm going to take him here, first start of a four-year-old campaign, second start to the uh, mile and a half, drawn well, he has the speed, I think, to win, you know, you want to be sitting a little bit closer, especially when the rails will be out today, I'm going to take him at three to one, so to recap my selection here for the opener from Maidan, it is the P&O Marina's Handicap, let's take the seven horse court poet, um, if you're going to play the um, multi-race here, I want to mention that quickly, the uh, any kind of, uh, you know, pick four, pick three, uh, quaddy, um, I would definitely use the three horse Zaman also, I think uh, for Charlie Appleby, he, he looks like he could get, get a good piece fit at 10 to 1. So he's in definite use also. But we'll go 7 3 5 in the tri cash trifecta. 7 3 5 tri cash trifecta. 7 3 in the multi race. Let's get to race number 2. Race number two from Maidan, it is the UAE Thousand Guineas. It's a listed stakes going for a purse of a quarter of a million dollars race for three-year-olds here. We have nine horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the dirt course. The top selection here, we're going to take the favorite, the eight-horse final song. We'll go 837 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 837 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, the eight-horse final song. Three-year-old fully by Dark Angel. Uh, Christoph Simeon gets the leg up for Saeed Ben Sower and Godolphin. The horses most recent out and came the Thousand Guineas trial here on opening night at Maidan. Seven furlongs there, and the horseman by one and three quarter lengths was drawn wide, but that didn't really matter because he got a good stalking trip. He quickened up nicely on the front end, and he just went away with it. A very good run, stepping down class from the previous races. Start prior, he ran the 11th of October. And new market, seven furlongs in the group three. Oh, so sharp stakes, and he finished six by four and three quarter lengths there. But there he stuck, but then he just kind of hit the wall a few furlongs from the wire. Just couldn't keep up with those slightly better horses. And then before that, the 12th of July at Newmarket, six furlongs in the July course in the Group 2 Duchess of Cambridge. The horse finished third by one three-quarter lengths behind Raffle Prize, who this horse actually lost to his two starts in a row. Once at Royal Ascot, once at Newmarket in the summer. But, um, you know, he, he kept going. He kind of weakened out of it going up the final hill. That final furlong at Newmarket on the July course could be very difficult at times, and it was difficult for this horse at that particular time in his uh, life. You know, only his third star wasn't 100% fit there, and he just couldn't keep the distance there. It wasn't the day to win. And then before that, he ran the Queen Mary at Royal Ascot, this five for a long trip on quite wet ground. He um he, he finished third by length behind Raffle Prize and Kamari. This horse was sent off to six to one favorite, and he, he just couldn't quicken up, but he didn't run half bad. He beat most of the group of horses home. And then before that, he won at Ascot on um on Royal Ascot preview day in May. Five for in Maine, Philly. Um, he, a novice. He won by five lengths and just took off clear. A very easy run. Um, 
Um, I like this horse a lot. It's proven she can run on dirt. It has a good post draw. Um, you know, uh, going a mile here, uh, being a little bit wide um, to start isn't so bad. I think around two turns is when you get to your dangerous point, or even six furlongs with mile trip. It, it doesn't bother me being so wide. I'll take him here. If there's a horse that could possibly upset for the multi-race, I would use the three horse down on the bayou. Miguel Barcelona is on this one. Ran a few weeks ago in the trial for this race and actually placed behind Final Song and, and ran a good race. Uh, the week prior to that, actually ran in the uh, in, in um, just a regular uh, conditions race. And uh, the, there, the horse won by eight and was on the front and all the round just kept going. That was a very good run. A nine to two, another horse I wouldn't keep off the ticket. And the seven horse, Rio Angie, three off by Honor Code. She's run twice, once in November where she won against a little lesser quality horses and then ran in the trial for this race and finished third. Another horse, wouldn't surprise me if she gets piece fit 6-1. We'll use her on the multi-race, but to recap my selection now for the second from Maidon, it's UA 8,000 guineas. Let's take the 8-horse final song as the top selection. We'll go 8-3-7 in the tri-cash trifecta. Let's get to race number 3. Race number three, it is the Dubai Dash. It's a listed handicap going for a purse of $175,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have eight horses going 1,000 meters or five furlongs down the turf course. Uh, top selection here, we'll take the six-horse equilateral. We'll go six, three, four in the tri-cash trifecta. Six, three, four, tri-cash trifecta. Top selection, six-horse equilateral. Five-year-old given by Equano. James Doyle gets the leg up for Charlie Hills. The horse's most recent out came 21st September at Newbury. Five furlongs in the group through World Trophy Stakes, and the horse finished six by eight and a half lengths there, and really just never had a run, never quickened up, and, um, you know, it was just a very weird run. He should have improved that day. Star prior, he ran at Doncaster on 11th of September, five rungs and listed stakes, and he won by head that day, and to two and a half to one, he was actually a lot higher, I believe, in the morning line, because I did back money on him that day, and had a few items to run, so I didn't fee see the final price, um, and when I saw how much he paid, I was kind of disappointed, but he still won. He, he quickened up nice on the front end. Uh, it was an all-around good race, and then the 21st July, they sent the horse over to the Kerr in Ireland, five rungs in the Group 3, uh, Group 2, Sapphire Stakes, where he finished six by eight and three-quarter lengths, and he really never had a good run there, and uh, was never comfortable on that quite quick round. And then at Ascot, in the Group 1, King Stand, finished seven by six and a quarter lengths, and there, again, he just showed nothing. But th those races were against some of the best of the division in Europe. Um, you know, he actually had a, I thought one of his better races of the 2019 campaign came to the Powell's House in Newmarket, the 4th of May going the five round trip on the uh, Rowley Mile. He finished second by a neck band, Matt's Cross, and I thought he ran a good race there. He thought he just missed at the end. Nothing bad about that run. Today, he's making his UAE debut. Shouldn't be a problem. I think he's drawn well, and I think the class relief should really get him over the wire. So, a 3 to 1, let's take him. Um, y you know, I, I have the three horse Caspian Prince second, the old man, the 11 year old Gillen by Dylan Thomas. Chad Beasley, um, Connor Beasley is on this one for, um, for um, Michael Appleby. Uh, you know, this horse ran a few weeks ago here at the uh, carnival and had a very good place um, there. Um, you know, wasn't 100% fresh, but he still ran decently. Uh, but then he was facing some tough horses. He ran the Flying Five at the Curve over the over the uh, uh, the fall, where he just ran horrible. Then they took this horse to some very tough handicaps at York during the summer, and uh, he just wasn't keeping up there. But I think a change of scenery should get him well. Um, at three to one, I'll use him. And also, I think a horse you want to keep an eye on it would be the four horse Prodigal. Prodigal. I can't say the word. Pardon me. I haven't had enough coffee yet. I'm almost still one cup in. But Prodigal son. Pat Cosgrove is on this one for Doug O'Neill and Redham Racing. Doug O'Neill sending a few horses in from Southern California to run at the carnival this season. And um, this horse ran a few weeks ago in a lounge race at Santee. A five and a half furlongs there and he won by one quarter lengths. He stalked with the blinkers on. He quickened up nicely. And, uh, you know, that was a very good run. But keep in mind, no American-based horse has ever won on the turf at Maidan. They've never won on, uh, going back to Niall Sheba, they never, they never won um, on World Cup night either. And I'm not sure if they even won won a race on the turf in the UAE uh, ever, but um, you know, at 8-1, to one, he's a kind of wise guy horse here. The horse is just shipped in this week, so they might not be acclimatized to the uh, conditions yet, but um, like I said, 8-1, to one, a wise guy horse, maybe we'll use him on the the multi-race pick for quaddy ticket, which begins off with this race, but um, he, he's 8-1 to one here in America. He's probably going to get back down with the, uh, you know, with a lot of the American-based uh, um uh, players knowing the horse, so he'll get bet down to like three to one, and hopefully equilateral will get bet up to 
nine to one or eight to one. If I get eight to one equilateral, I'll be doing car wheels all around the uh, city here. But um, you know, I, I, I prefer equilateral before that prodigal son. But like I said, he, he is a wise guy horse. But to recap my selection for the third for me down now, it's Dubai Dash. Let's take the six horse equilateral. We'll go six three four in the tri cash trifecta. We'll use all three of those digits in the pick four or the quadi, which begins off with this race. Let's get to the fourth from. Race number four from Adon, it's the Albastica Trial. It's a conditions race going for a purse of $100,000, race for three-year-olds only. We have 18 horses entered, but only 16 could go to the dirt course, a distance of ground of 1,900 meters or a mile and three sixteenths on the dirt course. The top selection here, we're going to take the six horse first view will go 649 in the tri cash trifecta 649 tri cash trifecta top selection six horse first view good often known say you've been sore trains pat cosgrove gets the mount on this trio cold bike see excel the horse's most recent on came the 8th of uh, excuse me 9th of january here at on and a conditioned race one mile 600 meters in the i believe it was the uh, 2000 guineas trial and uh, he finished 10th by 15 lengths there and he really was never into it never comfortable i do think off the break the horse needed the race and also, the distance might, might have been a little bit too short. He's going to get the mile 316 today, which I think will should, should suit him well. And I think he's sitting on a lot better race than he had a few weeks ago at Maidan. Star prior ran the 5th of November at Kempton, one mile in a novice race, and he won by a half length. He was sent off to the 3-1 lukewarm favor, and, um, you know, he, he stalked, he got the lead, and he kept going. That was a very good run there. Uh, and, and then before that, he ran at Kempton on the 2nd of October, so one mile in a novice race. He won by a half length. That day, he was drawn very wide. He couldn't get the lead off the gate, but um, he got in the stretch run, and then he just took off clear. That was a very nice run. Only one by half, but he probably could have won by a little bit more, I think. But, um... Coming here, second off the break, the mile 316 strip should suit him well. I think he has a strong chance. Let's use him. Uh, another very wide open race. I think the four horse Emirates Currency at 31 is a horse you cannot keep off your ticket. Tang O'Shea's on this one. He's coming off of a race in the 1000 Guineas Trial, 2000 Guineas Trial a few weeks ago, where he, he finished 8th by 12 lengths. There he was drawn incredibly wide, and um, you know I think that cost him that day, because he can never really get into a good uh, race. But today he's drawn a little bit wide, but I think he could get a better race um, going mile 316 um, wide here um, with the uh, longer run to the turn. Also, I think he's going to be a lot fresher horse with the second start being in the UAE. Start prior in the 30th of November at Wolverhampton. Seven Rungs and Navis finished third by one three-quarter lengths there. And he stalked early on. He kind of hit the wall in the straightaway, but he still ran his heart out there going to the seven furlong. And then a challenge towards seven furlongs and a novice. He finished second by three-quarters length. Then again, he stalked. He, he just couldn't quick enough. The winner ran a little bit better, but nothing bad about that run. I like him here today. 31, we'll use him on the ticket also. And uh, talking quickly about the uh, day number nine horse, um, as my um, iPad craps up, it's time for a new iPad. This, this thing always starts to, it's starting to get very slow, um, you know. You know, it's about five results. I think it's time for a new one. But the nine horse lost in time. Christoph Simeon's on this one. He's, he's coming off of a horrible race a few weeks ago here at Maidan in the uh, in the 2000 Guineas trial. But he has to form to win at six to one. I'll use him also, but I prefer the two over him um, before, uh, you know, I, I, I prefer first view and uh, Emirates currency before this lost in time. But he's a horse. He could definitely win on paper. But to recap my selection now for the fourth from Maidan, it's the Albastica trial. Let's take the six horse first view. We'll go six, four, nine in the trial. Cash trifecta, and we'll use all three of those digits in the pick four or the quaddy. Let's get to race number five now. From race number five from Adon's the feature of the evening, it is the group two Alpha Hedy Fort Stakes going for a purse of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Race for three year olds, and then upwards, seven horses are going fourteen hundred meters or seven furlongs on the turf course. The top selection and a single in the multi race for me, the pick four, would be the three horse Mythical Magic. We'll go three one six in the tri cash trifecta. Three one six tri cash trifecta. Top selection three horse Mythical Magic. Good Alvin Doan, Charlie Appleby trains. William Buick gets the mount. The horse hasn't been seen since the eighteenth of June. That came out Raw Alaska, one mile in the Group 1 Queen Anne Stakes on very wet ground. This horse finished 13th by 9 quarter lengths. Was with the pace setters early on, actually setting the pace, but then he just kind of hit the wall. Wasn't getting over the wet ground, and it just wasn't the day to win. Before then, the Group 1 lock inch at Newberry, one mile of 18th of May, finished 12th by 19 lengths there, and again, he stalked early on, but then he just slowly hit the wall. Musta Sharia had money on that day and paid a 
a nice amount, um, just ran a race with his life, that old man, but this horse just wasn't getting into it. And then ran here in the Zibiel Mile last February, the one mile trip, he won by three lengths his last victory, he stalked back, he got a great turn of foot, and then he took off clear. He ran in this race last year, and he finished second by one and three quarter lengths behind Dubai, and, uh, you know, he, he just couldn't quicken up, Dubai was just a lot better, but he didn't run half bad at all. Um, you know, he, he just look over his last two races, those are the best of the best at the mile division in the UK, the Lock Engine, the Queen Anne. Um, Queen Anne even, I believe, had some uh, American-based runners this year, but, um, you know, he, he just wasn't keeping up with them. Stepping down to class to basically some handicap horses in this race, I think he should just walk over these horses. Um, you know, he, he's done well here in the, uh, in the UAE. Um, you know, out of uh, two's lifetime starts, he's, he's only won once, but both those races were terrifically run against the best of the best division of the division here. I think he'll improve coming here. Two to one, let's take him, like I said, in single and multi-race. Um, so to recap my selection for the fifth from Maidon, it's the group two, Alpha Heaty four. Let's take the three-horse Mythical Magic. We'll go three, one, six in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. Now let's get to the very tough sixth race, the Nightcap from... The nightcap, race number six, it's the Jebelali Port Handicap. It's a handicap going for a purse of $135,000, race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 16 horses going 2,000 meters or a mile and a quarter on the dirt course. This is probably the most wide-open race so far of the carnival. It's the most wide-open race today, to tell you the truth. And um, I, I, to tell you the truth also, I would have this video uploaded about 12 hours earlier, but it just took so long to um, to handicap this race that I said, you know what, I'm going to go to sleep, why wait, stay up all night, and I'll look at it in the morning, and it took another three, two hours to look at this race in the morning, that's how wide open it was, going over these, all these horses, forum lines, going over this, a lot of replays, and uh, this is probably one of the, you know, out of all the races I've looked at in the past uh, four or five months, this is one of the like I said, the most difficult, because there's not a lot of dirt for him to go off of. With that being said, my top selection, I, I found the four-horse Grand Argentier. I'm going to go 4-11-1 in the Tri-Cash Trifecta. 4-11-1 Tri-Cash Trifecta. Top selection, four-horse Grand Argentier. Eero Gillen by Pals episode. Pat Dobbs is on this one for Doug Watson. The horse's most recent ad came opening night at the Carnival, the 2nd of January here in Maidan. Mal Nathan, a handicap, and he won by a nose that day, and he upset it um, that day. He uh, started Talked early on. Um, he had a great turn of foot, and he got there in the nick of time. That was a very, very exciting stretch run and a very good run. To start prior to that, he ran the 5th of December here at Maidan. I'm on a quarter and a handicap, and he went by two and a half lengths. And that day he stalked, he got a great turn of foot, and he went quite decisively. But to tell you the truth, the non carnival races, the horses aren't the, um, they're good horses, but they're not as good as the horse he's going to be facing tonight. But he still got over the dirt well, which I think is the key here with the kickback. And then he ran the 24th of October at Maidan. First off, a long refreshing, a mile and a quarter in a handicap, finished second by a head. He wasn't fresh that day. Um, he, he got caught in the stretch run right before the wire, but, you know, not a bad run at all. And then before that, he ran here in the uh, spring on this 12th of April, a mile and a quarter in a handicap, finished fifth by three and a half lengths. He was sent to the lead that day, but then he just hit the wall from the wide post drive. He didn't save a lot of ground. He had to be used a lot early, and it cost him late because he didn't have a lot left on the tank. Today, he's drawn well. He has the speed to win here. At 8 to 1, I'm going to give him a shot to uh, take it all the way, so let's take him. A lot with the 11 horse, Big Kitten. He's 20 to 1 here, and it wouldn't surprise me if he goes up even higher. Connor Beasley's on this one for Doug Watson. He's coming to dirt for the first time. His most recent outing came uh, at uh, Ascot back in August, a mile and a half and a handicap, where he finished seven by four and a half lengths there. And, uh, you know, he, he just stalked that day, but never had a quick good turn of foot. Maybe the mile and a half was just a little bit too long for him on the dirt uh, turf. Coming back to a mile and a quarter off the break. If he can handle the kickback, I think he can win. Before that, he ran the 13th of July at York, a mile and a quarter in a handicap. He finished sixth by four lengths, and he, he was sent from a wide post draw, but then he hit the wall late. He had to be used a lot early to get the good position, which, like I said, just cost him. And then a Windsor, tw 29th of June, a mile and three eighths in a handicap. Finished fifth by seven and a half lengths that day. And uh, you know, he, he just stalked, but never quickened up. I'm going to take him back to a mile quarter hopefully he gets a good trip 30 to 1 or 21 don't keep him off your tickets and i think also the one horse zorion for godolphin um godolphin looks like they could have a possibly a good night um you know he could also get a piece of it he hasn't been seen since raw last got where he finished 10th in illicit stakes but his form here in the way on the turf hasn't been half bad 12 to 1 we'll use him on the ticket but the big question with him is high weight and also dirt uh come to dirt again but so we can have my selection now for the six from Maidan.
It's the Jebel Ali Port Handicap. As a top selection, we'll take the Four Horse Grand Argentier. We'll go 4 11 1 in the Tri Cast Trifecta. We'll finish off the pick four, the Quaddy 4 11 1 there. So it's a very affordable ticket, and if it comes out, it's going to pay very nice, especially with this leg, um, if it comes out the way I think it will. But uh, 4 11 1 are the three digits I'll be using. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5. Good luck, everybody.